if someone comes over and they want to look and they want you to delete all the photos on your memory card. All this stuff, all this stuff's going to get lost. So all you're going to do is you're going to hit menu and go over, like I don't know what camera you have, but you're going to hit menu, you're going to go over and find wherever, so I'm mime the Canon, you're going to go over to where, I think this is kind of out of focus, the format is, hit format, it's going to go ahead and format there and the card is empty. Now in this instance, all I got to do is shake the camera. I think it's just like that should be enough. And when I go back into the camera roll now, if I hit play, you'll see all those photos just unformatted themselves. State your name and tell me what you do. My name is Kevin Sandslow and I am a gorilla photographer. So what is your story and why are you here? Uh, I was asked to come in and talk about girl photography and how I was arrested and jailed for committing felonies which include trespassing, uh, break and enter, uh, and rooftoping to, uh, to get photographs. I'm, I'm just kidding, guys. guys. It's just me. It's Pete. That was a joke. I'm just, uh, I'm here to talk about gorilla photography and this isn't even my coat. <laughs> What's up everybody, Peter McKinnon here and welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about guerrilla photography hacks. Now, first of all, the definition of what guerrilla photography means is shooting your film or your photos in public with no permits, and in most cases, no permission from any property manager, property owner, etc. Basically, shooting where you're not supposed to be. It is important to say right off the bat, as a disclaimer, I don't condone trespassing, doing anything illegal to get photos, putting anyone in danger, yourself, others, none of that nonsense. Photography should be fun, it should always be fun is to have a good time. So the things I'm showing you here are to not be used in any malicious uh, a manner. You know, when it comes to guerrilla photography and taking pictures where you're not supposed to be, I think there's a large scale there. From the very innocent, like, oh, I had no idea, I, I couldn't even, I'm my bad, I'm sorry, to people like straight up trespassing and going on rooftops and climbing cranes when they know they shouldn't be. My philosophy is, if I'm shooting anywhere and I'm told to leave, I'm gonna leave. If I'm told to delete footage, I'm gonna delete footage. I, I just wanna be respectful. Like, like I said, photography, I just wanna have fun, have a good time. So these hacks, these things I'm gonna teach you, they're kind of funny because tell me a photographer that you don't know that's been somewhere at some point and it's been asked to leave. Unbeknownst to you, they're just, someone came out of nowhere being like, yo, you can't take photos here. You can't be in front of this government building. This is a private area. The one thing that kind of sucks about that sometimes is if the footage doesn't have anything in it that hurts somebody or sensitive information and you just think they were great photos and you don't want to delete them. This is where I've used a couple of these things in the past. Take like the LA River, for example. Everybody shoots. Like I've been down there. I've seen promos down there. TV's shot down there, but they have permits. Instagrammers, photographers all the time are going into some of these places. But did you know, like in the LA River, they have security and they have surveillance and they have people coming around telling you to leave and get out. It's not safe and you're not supposed to be there. And then in some instances, sometimes you're asked to delete the footage or they have the memory card confiscated. And these are super cool little tricks, little hacks that uh, they're going to get you out of those sticky situations. I think you're going to find them pretty interesting because it kind of falls into like the realm of magic, for example. Let me show you the first one, which is uh, four formatting your memory card. So if someone wants you to format your memory card, maybe your friend, you could even use this as a joke on your buddies, which is what I do now, to just watch the reaction of my friends be like, what did you just do? Okay, so for example, you've been doing a photo shoot, you've got a beautiful portrait session, you've got tons of amazing pictures on your camera roll, and the security guard for that building or whatever. Someone comes over and they wanna look and they want you to delete all the photos on your memory card. All this stuff, all this stuff's gonna get lost. So all you're gonna do, I don't know what camera you have, but you're gonna hit menu, you're gonna go over and find wherever. So I'm mime the Canon, you're gonna go over to where, I think this is kinda out of focus, the format is, hit format, it's gonna go ahead and format there, and the card is empty. Now in this instance, all I gotta do is shake the camera. I think it's just like, that should be enough. And when I go back into the camera roll now, if I hit play, you'll see all those photos just unformatted themselves. You peace out, you still got everything. Oh, Peter, how did you do that? Please tell me. Magicians never reveal their secrets. Thanks so much for watching. Hit that like button if you like this video. Smash it if that's, no, I'm not gonna do that to you guys. Literally, I filmed another camera's screen going through the format menu options on this camera. You'll see, we'll roll the clips right now. I had it set up on a tripod. I was recording another camera's screen. I went through, formatted the memory card, and that clip is what I'm playing on the camera here. I find the clip that I recorded, which is this one right here. All I gotta do is hit play and just pantomime the actions with my hands. Go over, find the menu, go down, find where format, go, tying it with my button presses with my hands. 
it formats the memory card unbeknownst to anyone else they think those photos were gone but guess what you still got all of them because you never formatted anything you just played them a video of another camera being formatted you're welcome <laughs> mic drop don't worry i still got it <laughs> were you like <gasps> don't ever do that again mic drop oh <laughs> don't worry guys i still got it we're good gorilla hack number two and this one's a little more extreme i might even take some practice because there's there's a lot going on i've used this i've literally used this mostly on my friends but there have been a, a, an instance one or two instances in the past the memory card's gonna get confiscated entirely so you would take it out of the camera this is the card with all of the goods on it. Here, I'll give you that. The memory card would be right here and you would just pick it up and you would hand it away while you still actually have the card with all the information on it. You've just switched it out. Ooh, tasty method right there. I love that. And that's just like an old bait and switch trick. This is the dummy memory card that I'd be switching out that I'm keeping in my right hand. I'm just curling it up in my fingers up here. This is the card that everyone wants to take away from me. I'm just pretending to pull it out of my hands and give it to you and I'm done, I'm clean. I, I have my card with all my information on here, I put my hands in my pocket pockets and I dip, I got, I'm done. Peace, information saved. Send your friends home with a heart attack. They put that in their computer and the whole day's shoot has zero files. That's mean, that's, that's mean, I've done it. <laughs> Gorilla tactic. Number three, if I'm filming something, getting some nice B-roll in the city, and uh, you know, I was approached that I can't film there. Sometimes I would stop filming, and instead of just dropping my camera to the side, I would actually turn it upside down completely and film behind me. And then in post, after the fact, because I was actually filming upside down like this, people don't think you're using your camera. When you just stood there like this, it just looks totally natural. And then in post, I just flip it 180 degrees, and I've got right side up footage. And if I'm shooting in 120, it's mostly stabilized anyway. So that was always a fun little thing. Hey, you can't shoot here. Oh, I'm so sorry, man. We'll get out of the way now. I'll see you later. Have a great day. And I've done enough. Swaying back and forth that I've got like a little camera move. Flip that 180. Boom. Got some footage. Good to go. That's little gorilla hack number three. Okay. That is it. Those are my three kind of fun little gorilla camera hacks that I like to do. And like, like honestly, photography should never get you into trouble. You should never be shooting in a place that you're not allowed. You should never have confrontations with security or anybody for that matter. This is a fun craft and hobby and profession that we should all enjoy responsibly. So use these things on your friends. Freak some people out. Have a good time. Get some laughs. Record record some reactions, that kind of thing, but don't use them on people that are just trying to do their job to keep you safe as a photographer or a pedestrian when you're shooting somewhere you shouldn't be. Keep those things in mind, but I'm happy to have been able to share just a couple little fun tricks and hacks from the magic past that I think you guys will get a riot out of using them on your buddies. That's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button if you like this video. Smash it, do what you gotta do. Vote for me, time is running out. I mean, I guess it's not running out. There's still like a half a month left, but you can vote every day because I got nominated for a breakout YouTuber of the year, which is amazing. So all the links are below for that. Thank you so much for your support and everyone that's been doing that so far. You guys are the best. Subscribe if you aren't already. And, and I will see you guys next week. Have a great weekend.